Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and Thanksgiving is just days away in the US. So I'm gonna make a sweet potato marshmallow mega cake. Please subscribe to this channel. There are new cakes every Tuesday, and check out my mega cakes playlist for more cakes like this that you can make at home. To start, I baked three layers of sweet potato cake. These are really easy. It's just my carrot cake recipe, which you can get in the link below. And I swapped out the grated carrot for grated sweet potato and added some ginger. I'm going to remove all three of my sweet potato cakes from their pans and level them. You gotta keep your workspace clean because crumbs will get everywhere. It's time to simple syrup my cakes, but for a cake that's this moist, and yes, it's extremely moist, you don't need a ton of syrup. You can get your own Sir Squeeze-A-Lot and his cute little outfit, as well as this crumb coat and chill apron at howtokickit.com. While my simple syrup is soaking into my cakes, we are gonna make some spiced buttercream. I have some of my Italian meringue buttercream here, a clean bowl and spatula, some cinnamon, ground ginger, and nutmeg. I love using a stabilizer to mix my buttercream. It's basically just this amazing ring. You place your bowl inside and then press down and you're suctioning the stabilizer to your table as well as suctioning the bowl to the stabilizer. I'm gonna place some of my buttercream in my new bowl. First, I'm gonna add a bit of cinnamon. Next up is ginger. I happen to love ginger. And last but not least, some nutmeg, which I always grate fresh. Orhan, um, could you just insert a Grenadian flag that like floats across the screen? Just something subtle <laughs> to promote spices in the Spice Island. Thank you. Just add your nutmeg and stir. Jocelyn, what's this called? A stabilizer. What's she got? A stabilizer. Stabilizer. Jeremy's gonna quit. <laughs> Jeremy just made up his mind that he's quitting. My spice buttercream is perfectly spiced and I also have marshmallows. Let's start by placing one layer of cake down on our cake board. Now let's add a dollop of our spiced buttercream and we're done. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Using my offset spatula, I'm going to spread this spiced buttercream. I'm gonna create an entire layer of marshmallows by placing them in circles on top of this cake. Look at this, this is like a mattress. This Tempur-Pedic marshmallow mattress allows you to cut a cake slice from any point in the cake. I actually brought a friend back to the kitchen today. Bernie? Oh, Bernie's back. Bernie? Bernie's here. I just wanna brulee the tops of the marshmallows in the center. We're gonna repeat this process one more time, starting with cake, buttercream, and then marshmallows, and Bernie. Time for the final layer of sweet potato cake, which I'm gonna flip over and place on top. Before I do anything else to this cake, I want the buttercream in the center to firm up. So I'm gonna place it in my fridge to chill. Come on, baby, let's go. It's time to crumb coat and chill this cake. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna crumb coat this cake with my plain Italian meringue buttercream. Using my straight spatula, I'm gonna take buttercream from the dollop and start icing the sides. Time to put this cake back in the fridge to chill. It's time to ice this cake using plain Italian meringue buttercream. I'm using my offset spatula to ice the top of this cake. And I'm gonna use my straight spatula to ice this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to add quite a thick layer of buttercream around the outside to hide all of the ridges that the marshmallows are creating. It's time to smooth the buttercream on the sides of this cake using an icing smoother. I'm gonna smooth the buttercream with a smoother. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't say that very smooth. Line up your icing smoother so that it is parallel with the side of your cake and then tilt it onto a slight angle. Now place the icing smoother up against the side of your cake and turn your turntable as you smooth. My cake is looking nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna pull the excess icing around the top edge in toward the center with my straight spatula. I created a little lip at the edge of my cake when I was smoothing the top. So what I wanna do is just use the icing smoother again to straighten that out. Now I'm gonna touch up the top edge one final time. 
While my cake is chilling, I'm going to take my leftover spice buttercream and make a nice purpley burgundy-ish, what did you call it, Jocelyn? Purpley burgundy. I'm going to use these two colors of gel food coloring. I'll put a link to them in the description below. And I'm just gonna add color until I achieve that, you know, purpley burgundy, <laughs> eggplant yes. fallish Thanksgiving color. Yes, it's a very specific tone. Yes. Aha! <laughs> I've got it. This is the perfect burgundy, purpley, eggplanty, fall US Thanksgiving color that I was looking for. Yeah, I think it's actually just plum. Jocelyn, plum was so last year fall <laughs> harvest mega cake, okay? My buttercream is completely chilled. You can see that when I touch it, it doesn't come off on my finger. So now I'm gonna show you how to make an abstract pattern using our plum buttercream. If you love baking and you would love to bake with me, I have to tell you about Camp Cake. It's happening on December 10th, and it's a baking event that is live in real time where I bake in this kitchen and you bake at home in yours, but we do everything together. And with this Camp Cake, we are of course focusing on holiday baking projects that you and your family will love. When you sign up, you get my Holiday Baking Hacks ebook absolutely free. Go to howtokickit.com and sign up. I'm gonna use my small offset spatula and I'm just gonna add splotches of the plum buttercream. We're gonna use our icing smoother once again to gently smooth out all of these blotches. Did I say blotches or splotches? I think I said splotches. I just don't wanna get the terminology wrong. I just did one rotation to kind of smear the splotches all along the side of the cake. I'm loving the effect. I'm just gonna add a few more splotches around the sides of my cake, but I'm gonna leave them alone this time. Now I'm gonna apply the same technique to the top of this cake. And now for the final splotches on top of the cake that I'm going to leave untouched. You know what? This purpley burgundy US Thanksgiving fall color is the perfect lipstick. <laughs> what do you think, Joss? It's amazing. Mm, this is not a long lasting lipstick. I have some mini marshmallows here and I want to color them just the right yellowy, metallic, shimmery, shiny color. <laughs> some gold. I'm gonna sprinkle in my luster dust little by little and use a spoon to toss it all in and add more if I need to. I'm gonna take some larger marshmallows and create this little golden sugar top. To top each marshmallow, I'm gonna brush a little bit of clear piping gel on the top surface and then dip it into my golden sugar. Let's get this beautiful cake onto a beautiful cake stand. Everyone, Jocelyn's here. I call this abstract cake on cake stand. <laughs> Thank you. I have all my marshmallows ready and now I'm gonna pile them on top of this cake, holding them together with some melted white chocolate. Now don't forget guys, you can get this crumb coat and chill apron at howtokickit.com. We're having a huge sale all Thanksgiving weekend right up to Cyber Monday. You can get great gifts that the bakers in your life will love. So nothing for you, Joss. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> because it like bounces. <laughs> Can I do it again? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to all of my American subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. I make new cakes every Tuesday. Speaking of new cakes, I'm gonna try this new cake right now. <laughs> 